Okay, today I want to show you a Proxmox server, which is a virtualization server, and how to start up a virtual machine in Proxmox. And the thing is, you need to install Proxmox, obviously, on a PC, which allows you to use virtualization on the CPU. And you need quite much of RAM, that I doesn't have. I just have 8 gigs in this machine. Um, I get an error. <laughs> okay, we refresh it. Reload. Come on. Ah, let me try that one. Ah, my com. Ah, we try to log in. Another way. There we go. Every time we should, every time I should show something, is will always do something that it doesn't want to. And here we have a Minecraft server running on the a virtual machine, and um, I have allocated, it, I have given eight gigs to play around with. Need uses now roughly six gigs not really not quite as six gigs but nearly and here you can see it's have it have a bit of it uses you can use all of it if you want to so there we can see 5.14 gigabyte of ram is using right now and um, you can easily configure it just to open up the console and accept the Java to show it. Now, in this virtual machine, I have Ubuntu Server 2000. No, that's wrong. Ubuntu 12.04, and as you can see, it's running. Uh, it's running. Um, a bucket server. And now I don't have. Yes, I got wind. Um, so, how to manage this? It's just to. Uh, you need to be in the data center. That one. And you will create a new. VM a virtual machine and just type type it in here and the ID for this will be 103 and name it to YouTube there and you can choose between Windows Linux other OS like Mac OS if you want to. I can't use macOS yes because it's, this is under AMM AMD and as you all know Mac doesn't like AMD. So we make it to a Linux server and we put in a desktop Ubuntu 10.04 and that is open source. And we will give it as much as 32 gigs of hard disk space and give it one core. Uh, it's because I'm using the, uh, all of them really for... Uh, we give it 512 gigabyte. Now this is the... Um, Network you should use if you you can choose between those you have here and I as I used to leave it just the, just as it is and yes it will work just fine you can change it if you want to uh, have it in Intel E one thousand you can there that is a prior 
that is within the server as well as it is you will not reach it outside so you just finish it up and you open that one up and you will see on the hardware that everything is there and you just open up the console and I accept the Java and the remote side is closed yeah so I just push the power button and it just started up and there we go I want to have it in English this time so I can try without any installation and so I can show you guys how it works and this is really simple way to test different operating system if you are unsure which one uh, you want to have installed on your own computer and it's really fast and reliable especially when you have quite much the quite good amount of uh, memory or if you have uh, we say four drives whole four hard drives in RAID 0 to gain more speed on the hard drive so it will be ridiculous fast and you can also use it uh, on um, SSD drives and it will be ridiculous fast Proxmox itself doesn't use much um, uh, RAM in itself it's only using where can I see that I need to use that there we go uh, by itself it's just using it's only using just a fraction of what you got I got 8 gigs in this one and I got two virtual machines running right now uh, one Ubuntu 12.04 12, 12 and this one new this new one that I just started up with uh, Ubuntu ten oh four. This is just new installed and you I think you got NS as well. So yes you got it. So we will test it on my own web server as I have running it as well here. And dot org. You can please check it out. It's it's in uh, Swedish though, but it's it's a few. It's a it's a bit of information here. As you can see, and there we have a bit of information how to start up in your own web server. This is just a, a quick website that I have started up. And I will just shut down the next one. You will see how fast that is. You just press enter. You have turned off the Vita machine. It's just that is ridiculous fast and you if you don't want to have anything on your local PC uh, or your regular PC you can start up a virtual machine and do your secret stuff there and you can uh, learn much out of it you can play around you can start up a, a bigger virtual, virtual uh, network as well and build up a small data center if you want to <laughs> so um, this is how proxmox works it's not it's not more words it's not harder than this everyone can do it if you if they will just see it in front of them it will know how to do it and don't forget to subscribe just for fun
and if you have seen all the whole video please pause uh, great I don't know just post a puppy in the comment so everybody everybody who haven't seen the video they just wonder why do they writing puppy in the comment and you have you and then you uh, who have seen the whole video you know so write puppy in the comment and you and uh, give me a like